Oh my gracious, spike these guy, rumptious, delicious, scapio. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Abracadabra, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my clothes are falling off. All right, boop, boop. <laughs> so this is like so scapio. What a scapio intro. Boop, boop. Uh, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. Today we are losing our clothes. All right, today we are going to take a look at you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Why are you so magical? Scorpio, I love you so much. And I, even though I say so myself, because I am a Scorpio too, so you know how it goes, baby. You know how it goes. All right, let's see. For Scorpio, uh, this is August 2023 energy, and we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your boo boo. Please show me angels of love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have an angry little. You could be dealing with a Libra, first of all. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Libra. There's a lot of Libra energy here. You got a King of Swords on your hands. This is someone who's like out for the battle still. Someone's still bearing a grudge. Someone's still mad at you. We get a lot of those little bit boos in our lives. They do see you as someone who is just venturing out and doing their own thing, the Page of Pentacles. They also, you know, whenever they think about you, they think about the message that is pending or communication that is pending between the two of you. This person... It's almost like could be obsessively like checking their phone and stuff like that. They're trying to, you know, <clears throat> we talk about Scorpio silence a lot uh, on this channel because it's, you know, all Scorpio energy on this channel. And, you know, Scorpio silence is savage. But this could be someone who's given you the silent treatment. This could be someone who's been very silent, who's been, who's trying to almost manipulate you with this, you know, hoping. It's almost like they're hoping to get something from you. They're trying to get you to reach out. They're trying to get you to communicate. You could be dealing with someone. could be an age difference. could be someone who's much older than you as well. Or someone who has more experience when it comes to man manipulation. I don't know. It could be a lawyer. <laughs> no offense to my lawyers out there. All right, let's see. Please show me angels of love. What happened here in the past to make the situation so. They think you're so scrumptious and almost like triggers them. So they're like, oh, Scorpio is going to be fine. Scorpio has so many ventures, so many things that they can do. Scorpio is doing well. You know, maybe they're looking at your social media, spying on you while in the silence. They're spying on you and they're like, oh my gosh, Scorpio is having such a good time doing new things. Maybe just started a new job, new project, new whatever it is, you know, new ventures. And they're like, meh, <laughs> why is Scorpio doing so well without me? You got the higher font on their part. Mm-hmm. In the past. Boo boo, the problem here is that this is a soul connection, and this is someone you were married to in a past life. If you believe in past lives, or it's just someone from your little soul group, you know, your planet. You got this uh, six of cups here. This is why this is so difficult. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it is somebody who came in with a lie. And this is the lie about their status. Somebody is still married, told you they're separated or divorced, but they're not, they're married, or they lied about being married before. Something here about this, let's clarify the situation. Also, Three of Pentacles, you know, they were juggling something here, you know, three things. So it's like, you know, you, a past partner with things they're not really finished with, or maybe you knew, you know, maybe you found out, or it was like a weird situation. They were like living with their ex, like there's an ex, there's like an older marriage that's still in the picture, or partnership or relationship that's really um, like a marriage. <sighs> Why do people try and lie to a Scorpio? Yeah, so absolutely. And they owe someone something here. Six of Pentacles, they owe someone something. They owe someone child support. They owe someone support. They owe, you know, they got shared finances with a past partner. They did not tell you about um, about this. And the uh, King of um, Swords, you know, this is someone who's like, you know, could, could in, in, in the darker uh, side of the King of Swords, someone who could um, resort to manipulation with words to get their way, and it's someone who likes things their way, for sure. <laughs> a lot of this kind of douche food energy uh, today, Scorpio, we're getting a lot of the, the collective readings, we're getting a lot of this type of energy, someone trying to get their way. Also, Scorpio, before we get into your douche food, let me just say welcome to Lou Angel of Tarot. I love you, I see you, and I appreciate my baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. I love you so much, Scorpio, seriously. <clears throat> I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, I got. Mm, all kinds of mm, placements in Scorpio. So this is a Scorpio friendly channel. You can get your stinger out. All right, air it out. 
feel comfortable. It's all good here. I'll just give you, if you want to support me, best way to support me is to leave me a like and a comment on this specific video because mommy had a little mishap with her technology and I wasn't able to post for like a week and um, it will tell the AI overlords that you still love me, but they will really, really help me out. All right, baby. This is the problem, you know? You're coming up as the queen of wands, king, queen, anyone in between. You're coming up empowered. You're coming up like, you know, you, you suffer no fools, Scorpio. And there's a lot of fire to the Scorpio energy. Even though we're water, you know, we have that. We come, people often think Scorpio is a fire sign because we belong to the desert, baby. You know, we know how to fight fire with fire. And this is the issue with this person. Oh, the bill. I don't know if it's like 100% douche flute, but it was like out of selfishness. Somebody didn't want to tell you the truth. This is what happened here. Someone's silent. They're like vengefully silent. Maybe you found out. Maybe you questioned them. Whatever it was, you put your foot down on something. Someone's avenging that with silent treatment. <laughs> um, if it was a more established connection, like, you know, marriage of 20 years, 30 years, if it was your situation ship of many months, your, your date, you know, someone you've been dating for a while. <sighs> someone here is very committed to you. Very committed. But there's something to come in between you. You're in, this is a soul connection and you know it. And I think they know it too. Even if they're not like into, a king of swords may not be into spirituality. But <sighs> this is a soul marriage. The higher font, the six of pentacles. But the issue here was tradition. There's something about tradition, something about like, you know, the roles of engagement in this connection, something about this person quite possibly being more traditional or you being more traditional, you know, whichever way this falls. This is a general reading, so always remember these energies can't switch, I guess, uh, as well as cross watcher. Not calling you a douche flute or anything, but it could have been somebody here who. They wanted, like, your traditions didn't match. There could have been religious, cultural differences. Um, but this is about, like, old traditions, you know, not being upheld. And maybe this person had issue with you, um, you know, how you present yourself in the world, your visibility, or the type of career you have. Maybe they had an issue with your spirituality. If you're in the feminine energy, this person had absolutely an issue with how empowered you are. It was triggering to them. Somebody could have been trying to use money against you or something like that as well. King of Swords, you know. King of Swords is the pater familias, you know. This is the head of the household. So, you know, someone someone's trying to get their way. Someone's trying to almost like dim your light here, Scorpio, a little bit. You know, they're trying to harness the stinger, but nobody can do that. <laughs> oh, baby. You got the Ace of Cups for their intentions. I mean, as much as the person likes to get their way and they're being a little bit vengeful, well, highly vengeful and spiteful, like spiteful little bit bill, they are intending to, I think, apologize. I'm gonna say it, apologize. I don't wanna promise it, remember it's a general reading, but this is, I think this is an apology. They know they owe it to you. Their heart, you know, their heart is good. They have a true and good heart, but they're kind of stuck in some kind of a tradition or there may be, you know, things in your relationship, if it's a long-term thing, that was that were always causing problems. And then you have that Libra energy here. Uh, again, someone's really thinking about how to approach the situation. They're not sure how, Scorpio. They're not sure how. They don't like to kneel down before um, the bibo, you know? They, they want to be the boss. I think... For now, Scorpio, I see disappointment here. You got the Five of Cups. So whatever, you know, whatever big apology they're planning, I think they're going to delay it. Let's see why. You got an apology here again, the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. But it's going to be delayed. And it may be too late because the Scorpio doesn't wait forever. So if you're cross-watching this with Bill, get on track. All right. Please show me interest of love. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Tradition, legacy. What is this tradition that's standing in your way? Could have been even, you know, if it, if it was, um, could have been a relationship that had to end because the traditions were so different or two people because of a tradition couldn't be together. Could be something taboo about this relationship. I think in the short term for now, what I see is this person delaying doing anything. You're hoping you're going to reach out. 
They're hoping you're going to reach out because a tradition stood between the two of you, Bill. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. What's the long-term prospect? It's all up to you, Scorpio. And what's the advice for Scorpio? You can still work it out, but Bill, you need to ask yourself what fulfill, ful fulfills you. Does this fulfill you? This person offer you what, what you need for fulfillment. <laughs> and, and the Three of Pentacles, long-term prospect. With a lot of work and cooperation, you can work it out. But there's this like Three of Pentacles came up as a problem before. So it's like there's a third thing between the two of you. Whatever is difficult, taboo, about this connection that comes from a tradition or somebody, um, somebody not being honest with a marriage that they had or have or their attitude towards marriage. This is the problem here, babe. Aw, but Bill. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, Scorpio. I wish it was, um, I mean, it's a positive reading. You can definitely work that. You can work whatever you need, right? Like, you can work it out. Question is, you know, how difficult is this going to be? But Scorpio, we all know, all right, the stinger is scrumptious. You, you deserve the best of the best. Your stinger deserves the best of the best. You deserve someone who's going to, you know, pet your stinger and kiss it, you know, kiss it good night, kiss it good morning, send it, um, <laughs> send it gifts, <laughs> gifts and <laughs> offerings, but Bill, you know that. You know you got a lot of game. You got a lot of clout. You can have whatever you want, Scorpio. Do not ever forget that. Scorpio is a very special lifestyle. Not everyone can do the Scorpio lifestyle. We're very, very special people and you know it. I love you, my baby Scorpio. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification button, my boop boop. Also, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my boop boop. Stay spiky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm.